Now, two more scriptures. Let's compare two more scriptures. The Bible says always compare scripture with scripture, okay? So here's another Psalm of David, Psalm 16, verse 9, okay? We take the revelation one step further. Okay, the first step is do it with your understanding. But what does that mean? I'm going to tell you. When we do it with understanding, it means we have a purpose in it. There's a purpose in worship. There's a purpose in music. There's a purpose in singing. Psalm 16, 9, David says, Therefore my heart was glad, and my glory rejoiced. My flesh shall rest in hope. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. And my flesh shall rest in hope. Acts chapter 2, verse 26, the apostle Luke tells us the same scripture. He translates it from the old to the new. And the apostle Luke says, Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. And even more, my flesh shall rest in hope. So the Old Testament says, my glory rejoiced. And the Apostle Luke, who has understanding, says, my tongue rejoices. That might seem strange. Unless you understand what's going on. The word glory in the Old Testament, in that place and in some others, it's translated tongue because it's with our tongue that we speak and we sing and we give glory to God. When we sing, when we worship God from our innermost being, we do it with understanding that as we do it, we're going to release living water. We're going to release glory. And when we do that, we're going to fulfill the commandment of God, give God glory. You can't get glory somewhere. It's inside of you. And you know, I, I, I know.